Number one, the first way in which believers or you may be stealing is by deceiving customers, especially for those who are in business. This has been a problem since Bible days. Even as the children of Israel were going into the promised land, God warned them. In Deuteronomy chapter 25, you read it from verse 13 to 15. He said they should not have diverse weight and diverse measures. He said they should not overcharge, not use false measurement when it comes to measuring out the things that they are selling. They should not use different kind of scales. And I will tell you how many businessmen deceive their customers. I remember I was talking to a man who was a businessman. I said divine business. He said business can be defined as exploitation of people's ignorance. Exploitation of people's ignorance. He said that is business. I said to him that is stealing if that is your own definition that you exploit people's ignorance and you call that business that is not the business that god wants you to be involved in now god warned israel about stealing especially he told them determined 25 that i quoted earlier on verse 13 to 15 that if they steal he will shorten their days on the earth so stealing is detrimental to the number of days you live on earth Psalm 91 verse 16 said, With long life will it satisfy me and show me his salvation. I always tell people this. There is an appointed number of days someone can live. You can by your own way of life increase it or shorten it. Many times people shorten the number of days. And one of it is by stealing. Is by stealing. If you want God to lengthen your days, you must have nothing to do with deceiving customers something is three liters you sell it to them for four liters now that is deceiving customers that is stealing the bible actually calls it in proverbs 11 verse 1 proverbs 20 verse 10 proverbs 20 23 the bible calls it an abomination which means a detestable character something that you should detest something that you should have nothing to do with that is stealing